Market Structure, Sense Business Studies. Welcome back. Please subscribe to Sense Business and like the video. Also, I have my own YouTube channel called Crazy IGCSE, where I teach biology, physics, maths, ESL, business, economics, and accounting based on IGCSE curriculum. So let's see what a competitive market is. Firms compete in the market to increase their customer base, sales, market share, and profits. Price competition involves competing to offer consumers the lowest or best possible prices of a product. So here it is price competition. And non-price competition is competing on all other features of the product. So that could be like the quality, after sales care, warranty, etc. Other than the price. Then is informative advertising. This means providing information about the product to the consumers. So like advertisement of phones, computers, etc. And then persuasive advertising. This is designed to create a consumer want and persuasion uh, for them to buy the product in order to boost the uh, firm sales. Then is pricing strategies. So what influences the price that producers fix on a product? That is the level and strength of the consumer demand, which means the amount of demand for the product. Then the amount of competition from the rival producers in the market. Then the cost of production and the level of profit targeted. Now all this text is from IGCSEA.com. Price scamming. When a new and unique product enters the market, the producers will charge a very high price for it initially so that the consumers will still be uh, willing to pay more for the new product as it is a new product just entered the market. As more competitors begin to launch similar products, the price of this new product will decrease. So Apple iPhones are good examples. Because they are expensive at launch time and then they get cheaper over time. Penetration pricing. When producers set a very low price and that encourages the consumers to buy that product. This increases the customer loyalty and increases the sales and revenue for the firm. This method, the product will be able to penetrate a market. So that way it will be useful when there, is a, when there are lots of... Uh, uh, there is a lot of competition from other firms. So an example is Netflix. When it first started out as a DVD rental service, used penetration pricing, which means dollar one monthly subscription. And that was to encourage the customers for trying that service services, which helped create a large customer base. Destruction pricing, the prices are kept very low and that will be lower than the cost of production and that will be to destroy the sales of the existing products. As consumers will turn to the lowest priced products. Once the product is successful, it will be able to raise the prices and it will cover all the costs. Now an example is India's Reliance Geo, a telecom company. And it was accused of predatory pricing during its initial launch years. And this is illegal in most of the countries because that creates a non-competitive business environment and encourages mon monopoly. Price wars happens when competing firms continually trying to undercut each other's prices. Cost plus pricing, this involves calculating the average cost of producing each unit of output and then adding a markup value of profit. And this will ensure that the cost of production is covered and at the same time it produces a profit. Perfect competition, this is when there are many sellers and many buyers. And then here neither the producers nor the consumers can influence the market price which means they're all price takers. The advantages are there is high consumer sovereignty. Consumers will have a high and wide variety of goods and services to choose from and there'll be low prices. 
since the competition will be a lot so then the firms will try and keep their prices low in order to attract new customers and increase their customer base efficiency to keep profits high and lower cost they will become more competitive and more efficient disadvantages is wasteful competition so in order to keep up with other firms the producers duplicate items which is considered as a waste of resources they mislead customers and that they may give false or exaggerated claims about the product which may not be true and that will be more like a disadvantage for the consumer and the competitor monopoly up price makers the dominant firms who have market power to restrict competition in the market are called monopolies so monopolies are basically like they are the one strong firm in the whole market which is a who are price makers and there will be more uh, sales and increased market share from this monopoly the disadvantage could be that there'll be less consumer sovereignty because there'll be there won't be much of competitors here it'll be a single firm monopoly so there'll be less consumer choice too and monopolies may not respond quickly to the cus- uh, customer demands there'll be higher prices charged because there is no chance of consumers moving to a rival competitor's product because there is no competitor here lower co- quality as there is no competition monopolies will have no incentive to raise the quality as consumers will have to buy from them anyway in efficiency with high prices they may create high profits but the, the but the cost due to the inefficiency won't create a significant prog- problem in their profitability and so they can continue being inefficient as only a single producer exists it will produce more output than what individual firms in a competition do thus they benefit from economies of scale which means less average cost and they can still face competition from overseas firms they could sell products at lower price and high quality if they fear new firms may enter the market in the future now the credits goes to igcsea.com for all this text so this is the end of our topic thank you for watching and please subscribe